My name is Michael Menard. I've been a composer since the late 1970s, working in film and television. I wrote songs for Sesame Street, scores for TNT and HBO, and most of the time I've worked with professional engineers. I'm very grateful to Loudon, Berkeley, and Coursera for giving me an opportunity to learn more about sound recording. In my lesson today, I'd like to explore an issue that's been introduced to me during my brief time in this course, microphone polar patterns. I'll define what a microphone polar pattern is, give several examples of microphone polar patterns, and a brief audio demonstration comparing two of the types of microphone polar patterns. First of all, what is a microphone polar pattern? A polar pattern indicates how sensitive a microphone is going to be to sounds arriving from different angles. This gives the audio engineer or the performer more control over the sonic environment. The cardioid type microphone, such as the Shure SM58, is sensitive to sound only within a specific area, in front and to the sides, rejecting sound from the rear. It has, in other words, a heart-shaped sensitivity. Mics with a cardioid polar pattern are reluctant to pick up sound from on-stage monitors and consequently are less prone to feedback. And if you've had any experience with it, you know you need to get up close and personal with cardioid mics. Their polar pattern makes them unidirectional. The hypercardioid is similar to the cardioid, and I've read that it has more sensitivity to bass reproduction, but I have no experience in that area. As we can see from this picture, the omnidirectional microphone is going to pick up equally from all angles. This polar pattern is indiscriminate in a sense it takes from all sides, and as I found out, its lack of focus can make it difficult to use in many circumstances. Yet another pattern is the shotgun microphone. As you can imagine from this diagram, the shotgun polar pattern is highly directional with a truly narrow area of sensitivity, very focused and best used in film and field recording. The bi-directional, or figure eight, picks up equally from either side. Ribbon microphones have this polar pattern. Now let's demonstrate the differences between two microphone polar patterns, the cardioid type directional mic and the omnidirectional. If everything we've learned is correct, the cardioid will only record well from the intended sensitive direction, the front, and will reject sound from the rear, demonstrating unidirectional nature. For this, I will use the side address microphone, the Audio-Technica AT4033. Here we go. I'm going to sing, first of all, into the sensitive area. Step off the bus one sunny spring day. Now I'm going to turn around and sing into the area that rejects sound. Step off the bus one sunny spring day. We'll see that the signal actually is much less on that side. For our omnidirectional microphone, we're going to use the Audio-Technica ATR4697. Now, I should be able to sing pretty much from anywhere and have it pick up. Step off the bus one sunny spring day. 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 There you have it. Microphone polar patterns are different. 
and the differences do matter.